What's going on, everybody? Christian Ballard here with Ballard Sports Media. Coming at you with another college football preview video today. And this team is coming out of the SEC. The SEC West, that is. And it is the Ole Miss Rebels. All right, looking at Ole Miss last year. Uh, what final year at Ole Miss? Uh, saying that... I mean, he got fired. I mean, uh, what what do you expect? Matt Luke in his final year at Ole Miss uh, saying that, I mean, he got fired. I mean, he, uh, he played at Ole Miss. Uh, he's now the offensive line coach at Georgia. Uh, I think, um, I, I mean, Ole Miss got excited. With the hire of Matt Luke, who uh, grew up, how about that? My dog. Um, but so Matt Luke was there about two, three years. Uh, he's now at Georgia as the offensive line coach and associate head coach. Um. Uh, but you look at his time at Ole Miss, overall 6-6 six and six his first year. That's not too bad. Uh, still finished last in the division. 2018, 5-7. And, uh, and last year, 4-8. and eight. He went 15-21 and 21 in total, 6-18 and 18 in conference play. Uh, so clearly some decline. And, and listen, you can say whatever you want to about, oh, we have tough games or – uh, these teams just kept getting better. Doesn't matter. Doesn't matter. Okay. What about you, Matt Luke? You you care about Ole Miss so much. You're such a homer for Ole Miss, right? I mean, and you're you failed and let the whole Rebel fan base down big time. So last year was your last year. Uh, have fun coaching an O-line at Georgia, I guess. Anyway, so uh, Lane Kiffin comes in. Uh, he's very familiar with the SEC. He has some experience, I think, with Tennessee in the past. Of course, we remember he was the offensive coordinator for Alabama in quite a few championship games, I think maybe three or maybe just two of them uh, by my count. I know 2015 when they won it with that Jake Coker guy. He was the offensive coordinator. Uh, he he was the offensive coordinator in 2016 when they came up short to Clemson. Although he was his last game was the semifinal. Why he left right away, I don't understand. Um, I mean, I, I think if he was the offensive coordinator, maybe Bama could have done something a little bit different on offense. Maybe put a couple more points up. They scored 31 regardless of who their coordinator was, uh, which was Steve Sarkeesian. Um, you know, so he's got great offensive, like a great offensive mindset. I think that's going to be great for Ole Miss. Um, who's their quarterback? It's like John Rice Plumley is his name or something. Um, previous quarterback was like Jordan Tiamo or however you say his name. And uh, he's now in the NFL. Um, so anyway, uh, what do I think about the hire? I think it's great. Uh, uh, again, Lane Kiffin got some SEC experience, especially in the Western Division, being at Alabama for two, three years. And so uh, I think it's going to be great for Ole Miss. Is he going to go and win a title there? I don't know. I, I would not uh, fully count on that. Uh, but anyway, with that being said, let's look at last year's schedule. Four and eight in conference play, or overall, actually, I'm sorry. Two and six in the SEC did not make a bowl game. Uh, you play at Memphis, you lose that game. Win against Arkansas, uh, Southeastern Louisiana. Okay, those are two wins right there, I guess, but... You lose to California at Alabama. You beat Vandy at home in your homecoming game. Uh, 
lose at Missouri, lose to A&M at home. <sighs> you come off a of bye week, you lose at Auburn, you beat New Mexico State, you lose to LSU, of course, who won the title. That's not that bad of a loss for anybody last year. Bye week, and then lose at your rival in Mississippi State in the Egg Bowl 21-20. Uh, so you, you look at it after, I mean, you could say whatever you want to about, oh, well, the bye weeks came so late in the year. Yeah, I get that. And for a team like Ole Miss, maybe they should have came in two bye weeks, which they did. But I mean, October 26th and then November 23rd, that's about like one here. And then a month later, another bye week before the Egg Bowl. So, um... You know, so basically your four wins were cupcakes. Vandy, uh, New Mexico State, uh, and Southeastern Louisiana Lions. Uh, I mean, those weren't even close games. I give you credit for that. I mean, you blew out New Mexico State 41-3. to uh, Vandy was 31 to 6, Arkansas 31 17, and Southeastern Louisiana 40 to 29. So the wins you did have, I mean, you put some points up, but still, you're in the SEC. You, you, you didn't do anything. You, I mean, didn't make a ball game, lose your egg ball, all right? So that just ridiculous. But with that being said, uh, a four and eight season last year, two and six in SEC play, lost their last two games. You know, so uh, let let's move on to twenty twenty real quick. I guess. All right, looking at twenty twenty, moving on from twenty nineteen. Before I just lose it on Ole Miss, not that I care how good they are, but I mean, come on, how how were they good enough a few years back to compete for the SEC West? And I, I mean, I I don't understand how they were so bad um, with Matt Luke. I guess he just can't recruit, uh, but. I mean, I thought he cared enough about Ole Miss. I really thought he was probably the guy for the job, if I'm being honest. But anyway, moving on, let's look ahead to 2020. <sighs> All right, open up with a neutral site game against Baylor. I don't think I've done a preview on them yet, but I uh, definitely have them on the list for uh, who, who I want to preview. But anyway, so open up with uh, Baylor uh, uh, in Houston, looks like, where the Texans play. So, um, all right, where was I? Sorry about that. Uh, anyway, uh, open up with Baylor, neutral site game in Houston where the Texans play. Play two home games after that, Southeast Missouri, Auburn, Go on the road and play the defending champs in Baton Rouge. Uh, then you play Alabama at home, at Vandy, uh, against Florida at home. Uh, play UConn in a homecoming game, October 24th. Bye week on Halloween. A lot of teams, especially in the SEC, get bye weeks then. Uh, I guess there's not a lot of football then. Uh, play UConn in a homecoming game, October 24th. Bye week on Halloween. A lot of teams, especially in the SEC, get bye weeks then. Uh, I guess there's not a lot of football then. Uh, at, at Kyle Field, you go and you play the Aggies. Then you play at Arkansas. You play Georgia Southern. play Mississippi State. So outside of conference play... Quite a few cupcakes. I mean, Baylor's not necessarily a cupcake. I like the Dave Aranda hire. 
uh, from LSU. The uh, see the defensive coordinator. I think now he's over there. He takes over from Matt Rule, who's now with the Carolina Panthers um, in the NFL. So I, I I like that higher. Baylor was a good team last year. Now they get a guy that can work on the defense a little bit. Uh, how will Baylor do? I don't know. I don't think this is going to be that bad of a hire. Will Baylor take a step back because of a new head coach? Maybe, maybe not. Uh, but uh, we will definitely have to see. Um, so, anyway. I Looking at this week one game... I like Baylor a little bit better. Now, this this could be a good test. Now, this is neutral site game, so it's no home field advantage for either team. Um, so, I mean, Ole Miss could open up with a great win. This is going to be interesting for Lane Kiffin. Can he start great with this offense? Can he, you know, get something going? Again, he used to be an offensive coordinator at Alabama, right? Work with guys like Jalen Hurts, Jake Coker, AJ McCarron a, a little bit, I think. Um, maybe, maybe not AJ McCarron, but uh, we will have to see. Who's their Who's their quarterback? What's his name again? Uh, John Rice Plumley, something like that. Let me see. Yeah, John Rice Plumley. They got uh, Matt Coral, who's a freshman. So uh, John Rice Plumley will be a sophomore this year. So anyway, uh, I, I was just looking at Ole Miss roster there, but uh, getting back to it, I, I don't know what to make of Baylor at the moment. Uh, I, I would think they would be a little bit better considering. Uh, they don't lose a whole lot, uh, and they were a great team last year, made a ball game, um, made the Big 12 championship, lost to Oklahoma, uh, lost to Oklahoma in the regular season, too. I, I don't know what to make of Baylor, but I think they could be a better team than Ole Miss. So, when you look at it like that, I'm gonna give that to Baylor, uh, Next is a cupcake in southeast Missouri. Should be no problem for you. This is home in Oxford. You're basically playing what Alabama got in Western Carolina. A, a really crappy peewee high school little league football team, whatever. Um, then Auburn comes to town. Auburn's going to beat you guys so hard. I, I really wish you would win this game. Right? <laughs> But no, Auburn's coming in, and they're they're gonna smoke you. I don't care if it's in Oxford or not. This is truly, I think. Well, no, I, I take that back. I think Baylor is the first big test. If, if Lane Kiffin can get something going and keep it close with Baylor, they might have a shot against Auburn. I think uh, at home. Now, if it were in Jordan Hare, that's a different story. That's a different environment. They're not completely used to it, uh, in my opinion, but still. Um, let's see. At LSU, you know what I think about LSU. Defending champs lose a lot. Probably won't repeat as champions, but they're not falling off completely. This is in Baton Rouge. Even if it's in Oxford, I expect LSU to beat the brakes off Ole Miss. Um, so that's a loss right there. So, back-to-back -back losses, and so far, you're looking, I, I guess, I, I don't know, uh, so far. I, I'll figure out the record after. Uh, Alabama comes to town. My Crimson Tide, yeah, not, not happening. Uh, that comes after... Well, let's see. I guess that's week five matchup right there. So, Ben will already have it figured out. And either way, whether it's Mac Jones or Bryce Young, your defense is not going to be able to keep up all that much. Sorry. Alabama's going to have it figured out. Their defense is going to be going. 
you know, y- you've beat them before, but 2014 and 15 was somewhat rebuilding, retooling a little bit, trying to figure out who they were, especially in 2015. That was a great season for Alabama, too. You haven't beat them since then. I mean, I guess you've uh, come close. We remember 2016, Jalen Hurts as a freshman. I think, um, was it, it was either that year, like 2017, where Jalen Hurts, like, put together somewhat of a drive to, like, run the score up a little bit to not keep it as close, I guess. But anyway... Uh, so you'll lose that at Vandy this should be interesting I think Vandy is a terrible team I think I think you could beat Vanderbilt right I I really do Um, could could this be a trap game and Vanderbilt beat you at home sure you you could lose on the road but I, I I just think that Ole Miss is not too bad to where they're losing to Vandy come on You'll beat them. Florida comes to town. Florida is going to be the second team in the East, most likely. One of the key favorites to win their division. Dan Mullen's got this program going pretty well, I guess. Kyle Trask will be back. Got a decent arm. Um, I mean, it's Florida. What? When's the last time they were truly down and in the bottom? You know, don't give me this. Oh, the final years of McIlwain, they just... They were competing. They haven't made it to the SEC championship game since 2016 when they lost to Bama. And the reason why they haven't made it back, and I don't care what anyone else says, is because Georgia's standing in the way of the East. They just can't get over Georgia. They're far better than Ole Miss. They're going to be competing for the top 10, for the playoffs, for the East, for the SEC next year. Give it to Florida. That's a given. UConn Huskies, uh, who probably not a nobody team. This is your homecoming game. This is at home. Uh, It's a cupcake. I'll give this one to you. So, uh, you come off the Florida loss, and uh, you beat UConn. Get a bye week on Halloween. Go to Kyle Field. Play A&M. Um... I, I I don't know. I guess we'll have to see what AM A and M looks like. But I think they're going to be a good team this year. Jimbo's going to get something going. I guess try to get it back to what it kind of looked like his first year two years ago. Um, and Kyle Field's tough, especially at night. Uh, but regardless of when, what time of day you play there, uh, it's tough. It's a good environment, great environment in College Station. Uh, That's going to be tough for you. I don't see you pulling that out. That's a loss. At Arkansas, you got to win this game here. If you want to have any hope of, well, I don't know. I I, I don't even know how many losses I've given you so far. I'll have to look at the end of all this. But at Arkansas, I think you could win. I think Arkansas is terrible. I already did a preview video for him last week. Can't get worse than Chad Morris, though. I think Sam Pittman could do something, as in, like, make this team at, at least try to get to 5-7 and seven if you can, Arkansas. But I, I, I don't know what to think about this. We'll have to see what Arkansas looks like. I'm trying to remember if I picked Arkansas to win this game when I did a video the other day. But as of right now, I'm, I think I'm going to give it to Ole Miss. I feel like maybe Lane Kiffin figures out his offense a little bit. Arkansas doesn't really have much on defense or anything. And I, and I think that at some point there's got to be a game or just a moment in the season whether it's the start of next year or this year in 2020, whenever it may be, at some point, not too far off, Lane Kevin's going to have it figured out. He's going to have it figured out. He's going to do something with Ole Miss. Georgia Southern at home should be no problem. Mississippi State, the Egg Bowl. Oh, my goodness. 
People are waiting for this. Mike Leach in his first year and Lane Kiffin in his first year. Where is this in? Oxford. Woo! This is tough. This is tough to pick. Might be a shootout. Might be a close one. Have not previewed Mississippi State yet, I don't think. Um, I don't know what to make of Mike Leach yet. Um, but... This is tough. Like, you guys are really messing with me, Ole Miss. They probably will have some stuff figured out. Maybe on defense. They got some good guys. Uh, some experience. Some, quite a few freshmen I'm seeing here. Or I guess they'll be sophomores, but still. I mean, well, Darius Cox. Uh, Patrick Lucas Jr. Um... Uh, yeah, you know, I'm seeing some guys on here. And and I saw a couple of these guys play last year that looked pretty good, but you know, still a lot of young guys to work with on defense. Can they keep up with Tommy Stevens and Mississippi State in this game? Can they uh keep up with anyone, really? We'll see. The Egg Bowl, Thursday, November 26th. That is Thanksgiving Day this year. <sighs> Everyone's going to have their eye on this. I'm going to have to pick. Oh, I have a feeling that Michael Leach will do something pretty good with Mississippi State. I'm going to give it to Mississippi State. I'm sorry, Ole Miss, uh, but I'm giving it to them. So with that being said, let's just look at your wins because I picked quite a few uh, teams for you to lose to. Let's see. You lose week one to Baylor. So your wins, Southeast Missouri week two, at Vandy, UConn, Arkansas and Georgia Southern. Uh, Georgia Southern, Arkansas, Yukon, Southeast Missouri, Vandy. Looking at like a five and seven record for Ole Miss this year. Um, you know, and again, like I just mentioned, their five wins against Southeast Missouri. Um Vandy, Yukon, um, Georgia Southern, and Arkansas. Uh, so a five and seven record and uh, Lane Giffen's first year. He's gonna get this going in the right direction. I have a great feeling about that. He's gonna recruit well, especially on the offensive side of the ball. Get himself a good quarterback in a few years. Start recruiting some four or five stars, maybe. Uh, but how long will that take? I don't know. We'll, we'll have to see. But, you know, again, like, you know, we'll, we'll have to see. Could they lose that Baylor game? Yeah, they could. I don't know. I, I have a feeling that they have a good, um, you know, week one. So, I don't know. We'll just, we'll just have to see what happens. Um, so, but, but it's, it's going to be rough for them. So they, they could compete for a bowl game. They could come short, but we're either looking at a five and seven or six and six. So I don't know. We'll, we'll have to see what happens. But anyway, that's it for this video. Uh, sorry it took so long. It's just uh, the teams I've been doing recently so hard to figure out, man. It takes a while. All right. Just scroll through to the end so you see the record or anything. But anyway, that's pretty much it for me. Let me know what you think about Ole Miss down below in the comments. If you enjoyed it, hit the like, hit the subscribe button. Really would appreciate it. I do college football. I do baseball. I do basketball. Haven't really done much baseball and basketball lately because I, I haven't found much to talk about. Like This is pretty much all I got is previewing teams for the 2020 
college football season. Um, but I have to figure out what I can do for basketball as far as the NBA and um, college basketball and stuff. I, I have the foul out and off the court, but with there not being much to talk about because of no sports or anything, there there's really nothing to talk about. There's no show. So anyway, but you guys, if you have any ideas, let me know. Um, let me know what you think about Ole Miss. Uh, thanks so much for watching. Like, comment, subscribe, all that good stuff. Thanks so much for watching and tuning in today. And I will see you guys next time. Until then, Battle Sports Media, checking out. Y'all have a good one.